culture comes in many forms, from what we eat to how we speak to what we wear. Around the world, masks have played an important role in culture. For some, it's religious tradition. For others, masks are meant for ceremonies or special celebrations. But with the spread of the coronavirus around the world, people are now being asked to cover their faces to keep others safe. So let's go 360 on the idea of wearing cloth masks in public. Health officials say masks could help. The governor hopes to make them trendy but voluntary. Some counties are making masks mandatory, but experts say there could be downfalls, while minorities worry about profiling. For months, the message to wear masks has been mixed. At first, people were told not to. Then the narrative changed. Here's how you can make your own face covering in a few easy steps. Even the president went back and forth on the idea. So it's voluntary. You don't have to do it. They suggested for a period of time, but uh, this is voluntary. I don't think I'm going to be doing it. I would wear one if it was if I thought it was important. But now federal and state health officials are promoting the practice. We know that in other uh, areas where they have uh, adopted a mask culture, they have seen reduced transmission. Uh, and really at this point, we want everybody to do everything that they can to stop the spread of this illness. Because the way they see it. This is just another tool in the toolbox to help us get there. Here in Colorado, Governor Polis is leading by example. We're asking all Coloradans to wear face coverings when they go out of the house. Instead of requiring masks or shaming people who don't comply. I'd rather that we lead through positive example. He's trying to make them trendy, asking people to post pictures and even holding a design contest. Let's make it cool and have as much fun with it as we can. Some areas are taking things a step further. I'm going to issue an executive order that says all people in public must have a mask or nose Covering. New York is one of the hardest hit states for COVID-19. Don't infect me. You don't have a right to infect me. But even here in Colorado, we made the very difficult decision to impose these requirements uh, upon folks when they're in public. Places like Route County are moving to mandatory masks. I look at it uh, as a an obligation to their other members of society that we all do this to protect each other. County Commissioner Tim Corrigan says people who don't comply could face a $5,000 fine or even jail time, but the county is mostly relying on voluntary compliance. Still, a number of people that have uh, expressed some concern about this and have stated that they feel this may be a violation of their civil liberties. The way he sees it, though, the masks could help Route County get back to normal sooner. You know, having a tight fit that doesn't obstruct breathing, I think is pretty important. CU College of Nursing Associate Professor Scott Harpin says while he believes the masks are a good idea. Of all the CDC recommendations, this is probably the least evidence supported, but it's so it's kind of controversial in the uh, in the scientific world. There could also be downsides, like giving people a false sense of security. You could just kind of tell people just kind of relax that six foot distance. That's why social distancing and good hand washing are still important. There's also another downside. The masks are useful to remind people not to touch their face. And if it's kind of <laughs> if that's something that they uh, forget the, the purpose of the mask and uh, end up kind of adjusting it or touching near their face, then it almost increases the risk of, of potential, you know, transmission. So make sure you're not touching your face too frequently to adjust or remove your mask. I'm going to take it off from behind and try not to touch my face at all. At first, I was a little hesitant. While many have been open to the idea of covering their faces. So as a black man, I was a little like, uh, I don't know if this is something I want to partake in. Denver School Board member Tay Anderson says as a minority, that can be controversial. Elijah McClain happened in Colorado, and he had a mask on because of, uh, because of health issues, and he was still murdered. This is the reality for black and brown people in this country. So this is the mask that I initially made. Um, and it said, don't shoot because I didn't want people to profile uh, me. Anderson says he's also careful about what he uses to cover his yeah. face. I noticed that if I were to wear a bandana, um, a red or a blue bandana or any sort of bandana with any color, people would probably question me because I'm not in a suit in most days anymore. Despite the potential to be profiled, Anderson says he's wearing a mask for safety and to set an example for his students. Because I want people to really understand that I'm not trying to cause trouble, I'm just trying to live. Hoping that one day that we are able to take a step back after this pandemic and reevaluate who we are as a people and who we are as Americans. Masks have become part of Colorado's culture. 
at least until there's a cure or a vaccine for COVID-19. But if the governor has his way. This is really going to be for the foreseeable future, an important part of our culture in Colorado. We'll be covering up for a while after this pandemic is behind us, even if the science doesn't completely support it yet. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.